going on guys? Welcome to the Friday edition of the show where I report on the latest in gaming news. And if you do go on to enjoy the show, be sure to hit that like button as always and let's get into today's gaming news. And our first piece of gaming news for today is coming from PlayStation because PlayStation Now is now in open beta on the PlayStation 4 as of today. The PlayStation Now service is going to let you play games by streaming them over the internet from the PlayStation servers. So it's basically going to be like watching a Twitch stream, but you'll be playing a game instead. The service is going to be integrated into the PlayStation Store, and you are going to be able to purchase the games for different time periods as well, from $2.99 for 4 hours, right up to $15.99 for 90 days. Now, in my opinion, this service is alright if you want to maybe try out a game and see if you actually like the game before buying it for a longer period of time. But for me, if I'm going to get a game that I know I'll like, then I pretty much want that game permanently, or at least an actual real life copy of the game so I can get my $2.50 from GameStop or EB Games if I decide to trade it in. But anyway, the main thing about PlayStation Now is that it's going to let you play PlayStation 3 games on your PlayStation 4, and this is the big thing because it means that the PlayStation 4 pretty much has backwards compatibility now, which is a pretty cool thing. Now it is recommended that you have a download speed of at least 5 megabytes, and you'll even have to do a connection test before you're able to start playing the games. So if you live in Australia, then you're pretty much screwed because our internet sucks. But seriously, this actually is a bit of a downside for me, especially for us Australians. This is going to be a pretty big problem, especially if your connection is pretty inconsistent. I seriously would hate to be playing a game and then all of a sudden I'm in a critical moment and then my game starts buffering for 30 seconds so it can load the next 10 seconds of the game. That would just be really freaking annoying. Unless you can preload the game and let the entire thing load before you start playing, I can see this not really being an option for a lot of people. So hopefully Sony will come out with an option to preload the games rather than live streaming them in the future. Anyway, if your connection can handle this, you can check out all of the PlayStation Now games linked in the description below, as well as you can go check out the PlayStation Now service as well, because it's now live on the PlayStation 4. So if you own a PlayStation 4, go check it out. Anyway, on to our next news piece of the day, and it's for you you guys who still play Titanfall, because the trailer for the next piece of DLC for Titanfall, known as Frontier Edge, has had its reveal trailer released. The maps for the DLC are going to be Dig Site, Export, and Haven, and this trailer actually makes this game look fun again, because I honestly don't know what happened to this game. It was extremely fun when it first came out, and then after two weeks it just became boring. In my opinion, it was just a little bit too easy. There wasn't that big of a learning curve, and the skill gap wasn't that big. So yeah, if you are still playing Titanfall, Frontier's Edge is now available on the Xbox One and the PC. And speaking of DLC, the fourth and final DLC for Call of Duty Ghosts has been announced, and it's going to be available on Xbox 360 and Xbox One on the 5th of August. It's going to include four new maps, Gold Rush, Sub-Zero, Dynasty, and Showtime, which is a remake of the Call of Duty 4 map shipment, as well as the fourth episode of Extinction, called Exodus. So if you're still playing Ghost and you haven't already traded it in or given it to your dog to eat, then the Nemesis DLC pack will be available on the Xbox One and the Xbox 360 on the 5th of August. But anyway, to our final news piece of the day, and Steam is having a massive sale on all the Red Faction titles. You can get the entire bundle of all six games for $5.99 US dollars, which is 90% off the normal price. So yeah, that's pretty awesome, and that's going to be it for today's gaming news. I hope you guys enjoyed the show and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to follow me on Twitter as well. You can follow me there if you want to know what's happening with my videos and exactly when they're going to be coming out or if you just want to know what I'm up to on a day-to-day -day basis, which is pretty much just swimming and making videos and stuff. But anyway guys, thanks for watching and stay gaming. And our first news report of the day is about Call of Duty because today Sledgehammer Games revealed the date for the multiplayer trailer for Advanced Warfare and it's going to take place on the 11th of August at 10am.